Hello and welcome back. I'm Beeble Joe and this is Transport Fever 2. We have electricity unlocked, so we should make an electricity train. Maybe on our new inner city line that is going up the hill? So it's this train I'm talking about. This new inner city express that goes through the mountain, just takes a ride here, um, for a junction in Church Stretton through Crowley, through Colburn, and then down to Bury. It's really busy. It's it's making good money pretty much all the time. And while it's not filled up here, but the line from Bury to Colburn to Crowley to Church Stratton is essentially always full. So I would like to make this a full uh, electric line. And uh, one thing I did just before the episode, I connected and upgraded all the commuter routes again, and I upgraded all the vehicles so there are no more horse-drawn carriages on the map, um, and no more old trucks. Everything is at least a modern truck, so everything is a little upgraded. I think that's fine for now, um, but there's one more, probably in 100 years, maybe 80 years, there's one more upgrade that I'm probably going to do at that point, because right now max speed is 40, and that's not really going to take us many places. But that's where we are. And the thing that I really want to be able to do, I would like to add the electricity on a separate line, on an electricity line. But I don't want to ignore what we already built. So that's the task today. I'm not going to make you sit through all of the upgrading the track, because that's really not, not the fun part to see. But what I am interested in, what I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do it. One, we have all these slow old um, bridges. They can only go up to 90, I think is the max speed. Let's see. Um, one, two, three, four. 90. Yeah, that only goes 90. The new bridge can go up to 180, but our track right now only allows 120. So either I have to replace them or I have to run a completely separate line, which will get interesting for these places where we actually, <laughs> where we don't really plan for a main line running through. And what I like about main lines is that I would like to have essentially quad track pretty much everywhere but this whole area over here I don't really like how it's working because it's really clogged up in this just right here all the time so what I think I have to do is take all of this track and move it to the right a little bit maybe maybe this is enough maybe just a little more and then snake around the mountain and just move it out a lot further and then give myself a little more room to maybe have some crossovers here so we can utilize the lines better. Also, this triangle over here is blocked a lot, <laughs> like a lot, a lot, because there's a couple trains that are going straight through here and it's not helping. I did have to take out all the signals that were on the inside of the track. So only signals that are on the outside are here now. But as you can see, there's always trains waiting and I, I don't know. I'm going to increase the number of trains here, and I, I just don't like where this is going. But that's where we are. This will need revamped for quad track. I think the smart idea would be to run the quad track with up, down, up, down, where one up, down is electric, one up, down is not. I would like to keep, well, uh, I could do all, all track electric. I don't want to make everything electric just to make it electric. But we do have, well, we are getting another electric train. There's an electric, well, the crocodile only goes 40, uh, 75 kilometers, but then there's another one that goes 100 kilometers per hour. That one is a great freight train, and I forgot the name of it. Is it the 4-4? It may be the 4-4, but that's what we need. The other problem that I have is right now I only have one depot. It's out here. Well, to get an electric train on the inner city express line, would mean I have to electrify all of this and I'm not I'm not a fan of that I'm not a fan of that because I don't think we need to upgrade this line to electric at any point oh the Banbury is a really good place for electricity and I kind of have a connection that goes to everything it's this little path here that eventually goes into the station on the uh, middle four tracks and that's probably a good starting point so I think what I want to do is run two tracks out here that connect to a new depot. So there's a crocodile. It's not bad, but it's just too slow. It's really beefy, and I don't want to use 
the other electric train. How am I forgetting the name? It's, all, it's an orange train, and it's really, I, I really like it, but all we gotta see. But I would like to make this another rail depot for our station, and this one will be electric. That's important. Maybe, maybe if I get really bored, I will turn this into an actual um, rail yard. Because I, I think the place placement for it is great. Banbury is relatively big and relatively busy, so I think it would be nice to be able to make this a nice, big, busy-looking rail yard. Oh, you can't do this? Come on! So, that's the plan for today. I will start laying out some, some basic track, and you will probably start seeing a time-lapse, because at this point, I don't actually know what I want to do. But I do want to have electric track, and I don't want to electrify everything. It's probably a mistake, but we'll see. So let me check in because I am, gosh, I'm waiting. Ooh, Flying Scotsman, that one's awesome. That one may be our other in the city too, um, the red line that runs through here. But what I'm kind of thinking here is this whole line is going to be really heavy on large freight trains. And large freight trains do make me feel like I can put a um, an electric train on there. So earlier I said I don't, ooh, oh my. Oh my, high speed tracks are here. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Didn't realize this already got unlocked, but it is here now, and that's where we are. On the freight route, uh, freight route, I'm going to make everything into a, um, elect just electrified, but 120, because that's until 2020 or so, it's the fastest our trains can go, um, or the wagons can go, not the trains. But the other side will be an express route and electric. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, left side is going to be cargo, right side is going to be passenger. Both sides are going to be electrified, but only one is going to be express. Okay, let me get that done quick until we get to our crossing in Church Stratton, and then we'll see what we'll do there because I have no idea yet. You may have seen it, but we got the class 4-4 available, and the freight trains actually picked the right lanes right away. So this is perfect for this. I haven't gone all the way past that, but let's change the the actual trains. So our passenger route gets a real inner city. So manage vehicle, we can go full electric. This is the one, the 4-7 that I wanted. 2300 is a good number for a freight, especially when we have mountains. So we want this one. Um, right now, what do we have here? Five of the six axles. They can only go 80. So 
Not what we're gonna do. We can get this one for one. <clears throat> this one can max out the the, the actual um, train. So let's use that. 19 in capacity versus 20, so we can go six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That feels appropriate. 125 million. Yep, I can. Will barely feel that. And it appears that I forgot one place somewhere. See, could not connect all stations. All right, which one did I forget? I think um, I should click on this. Bambury. Um, interesting to hear, but it appears that you essentially can't cross over here. I thought I upgraded everything that was available to upgrade here, but apparently I didn't. So let's find that. Um, it's this regular track because everything in front should be slow. Yeah, it was this one because this this turn wasn't done. I should just turn all of these into electrics so I don't confuse myself later on. And I, I don't like this, that I can upgrade regular track here, but I can upgrade regular track here plus station track. That is a little weird, but I'll be okay. Making sure everything is the, is the, is the slower rail, which is perfect. So we replaced the electric ones. They should go 120 now, and they have their own line up until, well, that place over there. The other two, I think one is a freight line from here. Um, yes, you. I don't think I upgraded this side yet. Um, yeah, this one can just all be regular electric, doesn't have to be super fast. Yeah, so that was a day in between this. I hope I remember stuff. I just rewatched the last five minutes of this. We have these guys that are ready to be electric trains now. I think that's what I was talking about. If not, please forgive me. Um, only four. All right. Replacement. Get the nice ones. I, I, I really, really like these. The four sevens, they are great. Especially since there's a hill. And the crocodile is good, but the power is about the th third less or two thirds of this one so i do love this one 16 of the big wagons all right let's see it's these one two three um let's not do that let's just look at the whole to total capacity 192 so i don't have to click and count because it's a lot more exciting and look at this it's still good um let's see how many can we do until we're mediocre 326 meters is too long uh, 290 is fine. Almost increased the capacity by 100, which is fine. Because we don't have an electric path. <laughs> oh, come on. It just fixed you. Uh, uh, please, 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 please. Where is your... Why are you going... Oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oopsies. Oopsie daisies. Um, I can't... No, why, why, food, Burberry supply. No, that's the right one. That is absolutely the right one. Food, Burberry supply. Why? You're supposed to go here. Where did I not upgrade? Um, let's maybe stop this so I can actually find stuff. But this, oh, 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 oh. I know exactly where the problem is. Because I was thinking about that earlier when I was replacing everything. Um, this will have to be electrified too, but I'm going to change a lot more of this. The problem is out here. I'm not letting the trains continue on the to get on cargo. Oh, come on, game. You can do this. Just, just let me upgrade, please. That one, that one. And obviously these are just the cargo lines, so they can stay at the 120 speed. May as well upgrade this one. Yeah, the trains are just upgraded using this line. Go out to the to the freight hub. Um, and I'm pretty sure they go out to the left one over here, so I think I only have to do this side. Again, I don't want to upgrade everything. I just want to upgrade what I need. Where do you go? Could you go just to one of these, please? Um, manage line, can you fix yourself now? You cannot. Do you think you go to Burr on two? Is there anyone that thinks they work? Well, two should already be fine. I think my problem is over here. 
that this double switch... Yeah, this double switch is not turned. But apparently I can't do just one. Oh, come on. That... That's... No, this all. This should just work. Why are you not working? You're not working. There's no reason for that. Where is your problem? Um, nope, it's not telling me. If I let it run, is something happening? Nope. Well, this would explain that. Ta-da! I fixed it. Yay! Um, and there was great rejoicing. Well, that one's good. There's another one that we need to do. Um, it's... It is the fuel one. The fuel one goes even further. I don't have that electrified yet. I think that would not be prudent to change it now, but that is one that I definitely need to change. This one is the one I want to change right now. Oh, I already changed you. Well, good for me. And it looks like now I have about one too many. So let's just get rid of one. At least one too many. Well, um, oh, I didn't even turn the signs off or the signals off. The, the, the symbols. I just turned it on and then I was running. I usually always turn these off because it's a lot more um, CPU intense. Computer intensive. So here we are. It's already slowed down. I'm, I am on triple speed, but it's only running at double speed. So we'll see how long this season can actually survive uh, just game-wise. But earlier I said I wanted to... Ew, who put this lump here? Don't put a lump on the road. Make it just a little bit look like it belongs here. We'll see if I actually like this whole um, thing of the little bypass. I try to make it relatively... Um, what I want to say. That the incline is not too steep and that there's only a relatively short piece of bridge. And I think all that is realistic enough. But I have a feeling we're going to need a cargo station in here eventually, even though there's only two. Actually, we can probably handle all of the goods that we need to transport by um, early, and I'm probably also down here. So maybe I'm not worried about it. But time flies. That's what I was getting at. I would love to fix this, but we are well over time already of what I allotted for what we want to do. But I think I have an idea of what I want to do here, and that's exactly what we're going to start next time. It will be in this area. It will probably make this look very different than it looks right now, but I think it will be pretty cool. I have a pretty good plan for what I want, but it may mean that this station will do something different, <laughs> and that will be interesting. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Thanks.